Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about dividing polynomial using long division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is actually requested class from our students and our subscribers, how to divide polynomials with given divisor that would be three terms. So we will explain this one class step by step for you to really understand how to divide polynomials with a divisor given three terms. So we do have two examples class for this one. So if we still have enough time, we will be answering number two. But if not, I will just put the link class in the description down below with regards to this one. If we don't have enough time, we will make it an we will make another video for that one class. Alright, so let's focus first in this one. So once again, when you divide polynomials class, you check the dividend if it's a range. What do you mean by that, sir? You check the exponent class, the degree. So we have x raised to the power of 5, x raised to the power of 4, x cubed, x squared, x with exponent. Understood that the exponent of x here is 1. If you didn't see any exponent, understood to be 1. And we don't have a constant. Alright. So it's already been arranged. So let's divide now. So to divide the polynomial class, you divide this leading term by the first term of the divisor. Once again, the leading term, the leading term in the dividend divided by the first term in the divisor. So that would be 4x raised to the power of 5 divided by this x squared, divided by x squared. Alright, and understood that there's 1 here. So 4 divided by 1, that is 4 x raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared. Now, when you divide variables, or when you divide literal coefficients, simply copy x, and then you subtract the exponent class. Okay, once again, when you divide the variable together with exponent, you simply copy the base, copy x, then you subtract the exponent. 5 minus 2. So, that would be 4x cubed. Alright, so 4x cubed. So once again, 4x raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared. So 4 divided by 1 is 4. Then x raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared. Subtract by exponent, 5 minus 2, that is x cubed. And since your answer is x cubed, you need to label your answer class in x cubed. Okay, you align class. So 4x cubed. So you, al you align your answer here. 4x cubed. Alright. And then, once you get the answer, when you divide, you multiply class. 4x cubed multiplied by x squared. So, 4x cubed multiplied by x squared. 4x cubed multiplied by x squared. So, you multiply class. Once again, you divide 4x raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared. That is 4x cubed. Then, you multiply 4x cubed divided by x squared. So, that would be understood that there's 1 here. So, 4 times 1 is 4 x cubed multiplied by x squared. Now, in multiplication class, you add the exponent. So, once again, in division, you subtract the exponent. In multiplication, you add the exponent. So, copy x, then you add the exponent. 3 plus 2. So, that would be 4x, 3 plus 2, that is raised to the power of 5. 3 plus 2, that is 5. 4x raised to the power of 5. Once again, in dividing, algebraic expression, in dividing the variables, you subtract the exponent and add in multiplying you add the exponent. Alright, so 4x raised to the power of 5. So you align your answer in this one, 4x raised to the power of 5. And then this one, you this, you multiply 4x cubed times this one. So 4x cubed times negative 6x. Alright, so 4x cubed negative multiplied by negative 6x. So 4 times negative 6. Positive times negative, that is negative. 4 times 6 is 24. x cubed times x, that would be x raised to the power of 4. Sir, where, where, how did you get 4? x raised to the power of 4. Understood plus that there's 1 here. So once again, 4 times negative 6, that's negative 24. Copy x. Once again, same variable, copy x. Then you add the exponent, 3 plus 1. That's why you have negative 24 x raised to the power of 4. I hope you get that one, class. Alright, so negative 24x raised to the power of 4. Alright, so next step, you multiply this one. 4x cubed multiplied by 9. So 4x cubed multiplied by 9. So 4 times 9 is 36. x cubed times none, copy x cubed. 
Alright, so positive 36x cubed. Alright, and then, next step class is you put a parenthesis because we need to subtract. Okay, put a parenthesis. Alright, so put a parenthesis class because we need to subtract. Because these are, this will be three terms class. These are three terms, so that's why you need to put parenthesis. Alright, so you put parenthesis, then subtract. Now, in this part class, you need to be careful. Remember this one class. In this part, you need to be careful. Once again, you put parenthesis. Why is that, sir? Why is that you need to put parenthesis? The question there, why is that, sir? We need to put parenthesis. Because if not, class, if you will not put parenthesis, and then you just simply subtract, therefore, you just simply subtract this one, not the whole equation. Okay? Since this is three terms, that's why we need to put parenthesis. Alright, that's the answer there. What that's, that's, that's the answer there, class. Why do we need to put parenthesis? Because if you subtract, you just might you put minus sign, you just simply subtract this one, not the whole equation. That's why we need to put parenthesis. Alright, so put parenthesis, then subtract. And then in this case, class, you always remember this one. Once you subtract the polynomials in subtraction class, you need to change the sign of the subtrahend. Then you proceed to addition. Let me explain that one. You can actually do. You can do. You have. You can have two solutions, class. First solution, you can distribute this negative sign by every equation. Okay, you can distribute that one negative times positive four x raised to the power of five. It will be negative four x raised to the power of five. Negative times negative, it will be positive twenty four x raised to the power of four. Negative times positive, that would be negative 36x cubed. You can do it that way. Okay, first solution, you can do it this way. You you distribute, but once again, class, it will be complicated. It will take time if you do it this way. So the thing that you will do, you just remember the rules, class, in subtraction, in, in subtraction integers and polynomials. You change the sign of the subtrahend. This will be our subtrahend. Then you proceed to addition. Okay, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. What do you mean by that, sir? Okay, let me explain that. So you change the sign of the subtrahend. So this is this is positive. It will be negative. All right. This is negative. It will be positive. And this is positive. It will be negative. All right. So once again, this is neg. This is positive. It will be negative. This is negative a while ago. It will be positive, and this positive will be negative. So that's it, class. Okay, let me just write it in black so that we will not be confused. So this is positive. You change that into negative. All right, so that's it. You change that one into, you change the sign of subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So you proceed to addition. And this will be 4x raised to the power of 5 plus negative 4x raised to the power of 5 or 4x raised to the power of 5 minus 4x raised to the power of 5. You can just simply cancel this out. All right, and negative 25 plus positive 24. Once again, this 24, it was negative a while ago. We changed that into positive. Okay, let me just, so that you will not be confused, class, we will follow the blue colors. So once again, this is negative. We changed that into positive. All right, so, okay. Let's just follow the blue colors, class, for you not to be confused. So once again, this is negative a while ago, we changed that into positive. So this will be negative 25 plus 24. And negative 25 plus 24, if the signs are not the same, we subtract 25 minus 24, that's 1, then copy the sign of 25, negative 1. Once again, if the signs are not the same, you subtract 25 minus 24 is 1, copy the sign of 25, because 25 is greater than 24, we have negative 1. So this will be negative 1, then x raised to the power of 4, simply copy. If you're adding literal coefficient, simply copy x raised to the power of 4. And then, once again, this is positive a while ago, it becomes negative. So this will be positive 40x cubed minus 36. Okay, so 40 minus 36, that's positive 4. Copy x cubed. Alright, so once again, this one here, you can actually erase this one. Understood that there's 1 in every x. If you didn't see any number, understood to be 1. And then you bring down this one. Bring down positive 3x squared. 
All right, so next step, you divide this one plus, you divide. Once again, we change the sign of this one. This is negative 24. We change that into positive. This is positive 36. We change that into negative, and then we proceed to addition. All right, so negative x raised to the power of 4 divided by x squared. So once again, the, the leading term in this answer divided by the first term. So x, negative x raised to the power of 4 divide x squared. So once again, understood that there's one here. There's one. So negative 1 divided by 1. Negative 1 divided by 1, that's negative 1. X raised to the power of 4 divided by x squared. Once again, copy the literal coefficient. Copy x. Okay, once again, copy the variable. Copy the base. Then subtract the exponent. 4 minus 2, that is 2. Once again, that would be x raised to the power of 4 minus 2. Subtract the exponent plus. That would be x raised to the power of 2. Negative 1x squared. Okay, or you can just write it negative x squared. That's the same plus. Negative 1x squared or negative x squared is just the same. So negative x squared. You align your answer in x squared. Negative x squared. Alright. So, okay. Then once you get the answer, negative x squared, you multiply. So, negative x squared, negative x squared times x squared. So, understood that there's 1 here. So, negative 1 times 1, that's negative 1. x squared times x squared, that would be x. You add the exponent, 2 plus 2, that would be negative 1. x raised to the power of 4. Once again, when you're multiplying, you add the exponent. So, negative 1 x raised to the power of 4, or simply negative x raised to the power of 4. And then, you multiply negative x squared times negative 6x. Negative x squared times negative 6x. So negative times negative. Understood that there's one here. Do not forget. Negative 1 times negative 6. That's positive 6. x squared times x. That would be x raised to the power of 2 plus 1. Understood that there's one here plus in the, in the variable x. So this will be 6x cubed. Positive 6x cubed. Alright, and then this one, negative x squared times positive 9. Negative x squared times positive 9. So understood that there's one here. Negative 1 times 9, negative 9. x squared times none, copy. Alright, so negative 9x squared. Alright, and then once again, you put parenthesis. Put parenthesis class, then you change the sign. Once again, you put parenthesis, then subtraction. Rules in subtraction, subtracting polynomials, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then you proceed to addition. So we change the sign, we proceed to addition, and this is minus, so we change this sign, this will be plus. I will just write in blue class, once again, we use the blue one. We change the sign, this is negative, it will be positive. This is positive, it will be negative. This is negative, it will be positive. Alright, so we just changed the sign. So this will be x, negative x raised to the power of 4 plus x raised to the power of 4. So negative x raised to the power of 4 plus x raised to the power of 4. Once again, this negative will become positive. Okay, so this will be negative x raised to the power of 4 plus x raised to the power of 4. You can simply cancel this out because this is 0. Okay, you can cancel this out. So cancel this out. And this one, 4x cubed minus 6x cubed. Once again, this plus here becomes minus. So positive 4x cubed, then minus 6x cubed. So if the signs are not the same, you have positive 4, negative 6. If the signs are not the same, you subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. Then you copy the sign of 6. 6 is greater than 4, so we have negative 2. Then copy x cubed. Alright, negative 2x cubed. Negative 2x cubed. Then this negative 9x squared, it becomes positive. So 3x squared plus 9x squared. So that would be 12x squared. Alright, and then you bring down this one. Negative 18x. Alright, so we're almost done. So once again, divide negative 2x cubed divided by x squared. 
So, negative 2x cubed divided by x squared. So, understood that there's 1 here. So, negative 2 divided by 1, that's negative 2. x cubed divided by x squared, that is x. So, that would be x cubed, raised to x raised to the power of 3, minus 2. Understood. Uh, subtract the exponent plus 3 minus 2. That would be x raised to the power of 1 or x. That's why we have x class. I hope you understand this one. Subtract the exponent 3 minus 2. That would be x raised to the power of 1 or negative 2x. So the answer is negative 2x. Negative 2x. Alright, and then this will be, you multiply negative 2x times x squared. Negative 2x times x squared. So understood that there's 1 here. So negative 2 times 1, that's negative 2. x x times x squared, that is x cubed. So, negative 2x cubed. Alright, and then you multiply this one, negative 2x times negative 6x, negative 2x times negative 6x, negative 2 times negative 6, that's positive 12, x times x, that would be x squared. Wait, how did you get x squared, sir? That would be x times x, Understood that there's 1 here, that would be x raised to the power of 1 plus 1. You add the exponent plus. That's why you have x squared. We have positive because this is negative 2 times negative 6. Negative times negative is positive. Well, that's why we have positive 12. So positive 12, x squared. Then last one. Okay. Last one plus negative 2x times positive 9. Negative 2x times positive 9, negative 2, okay, or negative, okay, negative 2x times 9, so negative 2 times 9, that's negative 18, positive, negative times positive is negative, x times 9 is copy x, so once again, negative 2x times 9, that's negative 18x, so negative 18x, once again, you write, parent, you write down, or you put parenthesis because this is trinomial, then we subtract. And once again, the rules in subtraction, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So this will be, you proceed to addition. This is negative, it will be positive. So we change the sign, this will be positive. This is positive, it will be negative. This is negative, it will be positive. So, we just change the sign of the bottom part. Class. So, this will be negative 2x cubed plus 2x cubed. So, instead of minus, it becomes plus. So, we can, we can just simply cancel this out. Because negative 2x cubed plus 2x cubed. So, if the signs are not the same, you subtract. 2 minus 2, that is 0 class. So, that's why we cancel this out. And positive 12x squared minus 12x squared. So, we can cancel this out. Because 12 minus 12 is 0. So you can cancel this out. Negative 18x plus 18x. So negative 18x plus 18x. The negative 18, you change the sign, it becomes positive. And this will be 0 plus. If the signs are not the same, you subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. So 18 minus 18, that is 0. So you can cancel this out. So this will be 0. So we don't have the remainder class. That's it class. That's the answer for this one. Alright, so quite complicated because we do have three terms. So I hope you understand this one class. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day. Bye-bye.